The world is now bearing the huge cost of the Chinese regime's intransparency. But public health is not the only area where lack of transparency from China is causing real pain. On Tuesday, U.S. stock regulators called China out for not giving them the information gathered during audits of their U.S. listed companies, putting investors at risk. Investors were hoping it was a belated April Fool's joke. It wasn't. On April 2, 2020, Nasdaq listed Luckin Coffee, China's biggest coffee chain, said it had fabricated 40 percent of its annual sales. Its share price fell 80 percent the following day. Luckin was once considered a miracle company. It was less than two years old when it filed its initial public offering IPO in the U.S. in 2019 and raised over $600 million. This February, when Muddy Waters Research published a report calling out the coffee chain as a fraud and a fundamentally broken business, Lucking dismissed the claims as misleading and false allegations. But the company did eventually admit to its wrongdoings, although unapologetically. In fact, it seemed to take pride in cheating U.S. investors of their cash. Social media posts showed posters at one store saying, We are the pride of Chinese produce, the harvester of America. It's not the first time U.S. investors have faced such a harvester. U.S.-listed Chinese companies have a history of fraud and intransparency. Over 50 Chinese companies were delisted after a massive fraud bust. In 2011, billions of dollars in market capitalization was lost. The scale of the fraud was even made into a movie, The China Hustle, which accuses Wall Street banks, auditors and lawyers of knowingly complying with the malpractice and profiting from it. The movie warns of an economic disaster if this continues. If a Chinese company wants to go public in the U.S., they need to be sponsored by Wall Street's investment banks. The banks normally charge a fee of 3 to 7 percent of the money raised. They also need an auditor registered in the United States. The banks and auditors that sponsor Chinese companies tend to be the top firms in the profession. But that doesn't prevent things from going wrong. The system itself also has its loopholes. China is one of the few countries that doesn't allow U.S. regulators to see their audit books. The regime claims the books are national secrets and cannot be shared with outside parties. During a 2015 fraud investigation, U.S. regulators asked for audit records for nine Chinese companies, but the big four accounting firms refused to turn them over. The accounting firms later paid $500,000 each to settle the dispute. But regulators say there are still significant obstacles to inspecting Chinese companies. Many of the U.S. listed companies are not regular privately owned businesses. They're either state owned or have close ties with the Chinese Communist Party. Among the five most valuable U.S. listed Chinese companies, three are energy or finance companies owned by the Chinese regime. Even the founder of the privately owned Alibaba, Jack Ma, is a card-carrying Communist Party member who has vowed to happily hand over all of his businesses to the party if he were asked to do so. According to a New York Times report, one winner in Alibaba's lucrative New York IPO was Boyu Capital, a private equity firm founded by a grandson of former Communist leader Jiang Zemin. Chinese fugitive billionaire Guo Wengui once said that the top 10 Chinese companies, including the supposedly privately owned Huawei, Alibaba and Tencent, are in fact militarized state-owned enterprises controlled by the Jiang family. These are the types of companies taking cash from U.S. investors without proper disclosure. In February 2019, there were 156 Chinese companies listed on the major three U.S. exchanges with a total market capitalization of $1.2 trillion. The overnight implosion of Luckin Coffee is not the end of the story. Market experts say this is a painful reminder of the extreme fraud risk posed by China-based companies. Last year, the media reported that the Trump administration is considering delisting Chinese firms from U.S. markets. In a separate move, Senator Marco Rubio introduced a bill last year that would delist Chinese companies that do not comply with American laws. But so far, there is no indication if or when that will happen. In an interview with Bloomberg, short seller Carson Block said, My view, China is a massive asset bubble and credit bubble. 
And he said it's only a matter of time if nothing is done and the U.S. will not avoid the blow.